love is soul. So we're doing a pop of love today and uh, I'll be using uh, my cards, um, Love Ink. Here is the front one. <laughs> love Ink, a lover's oracle deck. All right, so let's see. What is your person thinking, feeling uh, about you right this minute, right? Let's talk about it. Okay. So pulling in your person's energy now. What are they thinking, feeling right now? Ooh, we have growing old together. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Crystal ball. And when will this happen? <laughs> wow. And pick me. And moving in together and happily ever after and desperate attempt okay oh my god so this person is like i don't know what you will say i'm not sure if you want me if in if you would ever pick me but i've, I've, I've been thinking about how we could have a relationship and i think they have been thinking about moving in together with you and uh and thinking about this happily ever after here journey so there is um and then we have forgive me and an apology so i don't know what they did but perhaps there is um just um they have been taking their time uh perhaps and they have been yet yeah, with this crystal ball they've been waiting a little bit uh to to make a move i think and uh, and they didn't want to come in with a desperate attempt. They want to be clear about what it, it was that they wanted here, okay? But actually, what they are sort of contemplating is to have everything with you. And that's why it's been taking a little while, I'm hearing. Um, and they want to go on a trip with you. They want to take you somewhere. I'm I'm hearing with the journey here, and um, and they know they should have told you about their feelings a little earlier. That's why they come in and say, "Please forgive me. I should have. Uh, I've been holding on to my comfort zone. I've been. I don't know if I made enough money for you. If I." I've been thinking a lot about my work to to, to collect uh, myself and uh, well uh, and to uh, make sure that I, I sort of fit your expectations here. I've been thinking, are we too different from each other? And then again, I know we're a sacred union. I can't not be with you. I want to be with you. Um, I've never tried this type of feelings before here. Um, so this sacred union comes in, right? And then we have um, a, a surprise invitation. They might take you on a journey somewhere or, or some retreat or invite you for something. This is a surprise invitation. Okay, this is what they're contemplating. And, and then... We have first love. It's like, it feels like a first love to them, I'm getting, okay? Um, okay, I'll just see. Taking care of me. It seems like, <laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing they, they're saying is um, uh, that, that it seems like they were just all up in their own ego and thinking about themselves and that they were taking care of themselves and uh, and and really uh, they were just hiding their feelings. They were actually hiding their feelings and they were manifesting you. They were they were trying to get around to the um to the clarity that they have actually ma manifested you on their own. <laughs> uh, and But when you came in, they were like, what? 
did I manifest this? Uh, I, did, I don't know how. I don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> but okay, I did that. Mm. And then they were unsure about themselves and their own manifestations. But then they became obsessed with you and they didn't show it. They didn't show it. They were pretending and wearing a mask all the time. <laughs> And, but they were like, I can't stop looking at them. I can't stop thinking about them. I can't, uh, I really want to be with them. Um, uh, okay. Um, so now they're taking action. Now they are wanting to take action. Come in with this surprise invitation. I feel like they are have been planning something. They have been planning something. Okay, and what was that? A proposal oh, okay when the stars align and when is the right timing for this and twin flame <laughs> yeah so something deep inside of them something deep inside of them is just uh, not able to let go of you okay and um, and they sort of miss you all the time. <laughs> they miss you. And they're planning. They're planning what to do because they remember you from past lives, right? And without you, they're unhappy. And they try to say, I need, I need my freedom. I'll just, you know, um, uh, it's better if I'm free and if I'm just with me. But uh, without you, they're unhappy. They sort of can't live without you. New beginning comes in here between you guys. Yeah, and it's a passionate one. <laughs> Passion, and I'm coming for you. And kiss me, they're saying. <laughs> okay, and I'm so sorry I've been holding back. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry that you waited for me for so long. <laughs> but I know now that this is a fairy tale romance. It's a true one. It's not a fake one. This is a true fairy tale romance. I've been longing to kiss you. I've been longing to hold you and to make love with you and to feel your body against mine. Um, uh, it's just when I met you, I knew there were so many things in my life I had to move around big things, huge things in my life practically and also in my soul, in my heart, in my, my, my mind, my mind, especially in my mind, because I thought I was going to do something else and I thought I was sort of stuck there and fixed there. Uh, and I thought this was the life I wanted. And then you came in and I was like, well, how the he... Do I make them fit into my life now? And they have been sort of building with their blocks inside of their mind, in their head. Um, their life blocks, right? <laughs> okay, so um, the castle I built, uh, I was so proud of it. I, I thought this was a fine castle. I like it here. And then you came in and, well, no... They needed to buy, to build a new castle. They needed to buy, build a perhaps a bigger castle or a, a castle that looked different or uh, that that was stationed uh, somewhere else or <laughs> yeah could fit more people or something like that. You know, um, so it's big things that they have been thinking because the moment they met you, they knew. This is the one. This is the one. This is the big deal. Okay, it's a big deal. But I want it. And how the hell do I do it? Okay, that's the only reason that they have been holding themselves back. And spirits like, 
it has nothing to do with them being unsure. They have never been unsure of you. They've just been unsure of how to do it practically. Okay? And they've been unsure about what to do with their own manifestation. Because you are not doing anything. This is their own manifestation. A wish they always had, but perhaps never thought would ever happen. And now it's here. It's right there. And that, so now they have to act upon it, right? So, um, hmm. So this is like their energy is, they're thinking all of this. They're just thinking and thinking all these things. I want to know their actions. What actions are they going to take? I'll be using the Mystic Moon, I think, here. Whoops. So, some cards fell out. I don't think... Um, okay. Mm. Are we taking these? Okay, so we, we're getting the material world and unawakened. So, they've been a lot up in their head. And um, until you came around, they were not truly awakened, right? And they were thinking, um, I need to, to, to work and I need to get uh, clear on who I am and my money and my work. And so they've been sort of stuck in that energy I'm getting here. And then an offer, they, they sort of gave you an offer here. Um, and uh, it wasn't really a good one. It wasn't enough. So um, so now return comes in. So now they will return and come in with something better. Okay. So my son is coming home from kindergarten. I just want to know what, what will they return with here? <laughs> and then we have soulmates. Okay. So it's just... Uh, what they will return with is uh, a better offer. <laughs> it's like now I'm actually clear to speak out loud that I know that you are my soulmate. Uh, okay, that that uh, I can't hide from this anymore. Okay, uh, I, now I understand exactly what you are to me. And um, I think that was the last card, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have metamorphosis. Here we have a twin again. Twin flame relationship. Ooh. And you are my tribe. <laughs> okay. So, um, so these are their actions. <laughs> uh, this is what's, what will happen. Uh, pretty soon I'm getting okay yeah I really like this reading again we have uh, sacred unions going on in this year like heavily all of my readings end like this it, they're just so beautiful they're just uh, all the problems all the things all the contemplations and they're like poof 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 um, sort of uh, moved away. I feel like all the fears are actually um, going away um, because we're working on this, and now we're starting to trust that this is that the, the divine has actually because we are in the year six, very, very um, deliberately sent us toward each other, right? Sent soulmates and twin flames toward each other. This exact year, this is exact month of June and July. So just trust that, believe it, right? Uh, this is, it's now, it's happening now, all right? Um, so, um, 
well <laughs> be patient with one another i'm hearing thank you so much for watching now i will go and hug my little son <laughs> i came home from kindergarten and uh, i'll see you next time all right bye bye <laughs>